at this point, I've directed, I think, eight or nine of Edward Albee's plays, and a couple of them, a number of them, more than once. So I've been in probably 12 rehearsal processes with his language and with his stories. And I always feel um, that living with his characters, living with his language, living with his situations just makes me a more open-hearted person and makes me a smarter person. There is something, um, uh, I, mean, I mean, Edward and I had an affinity from the get-go. Um, he has a had, he's now passed away, but had a reputation of being prickly. And I certainly sometimes felt the prickle. Um, but he also, you know, had the reputation of really supporting younger artists, um, believing in the people that he believed in. He opened a lot of doors for me. Um, the first time I ever worked in Chicago was on an Edward Albee play. The first time I ever worked in Europe was on an Edward Albee play. Um, the second time I worked on Broadway was an Edward Albee play. I mean, it, you know, these pivotal, these pivotal moments where Edward um, suggested me and then backed it up with like, no, really, she's the one to do it. And a playwright has that power, um, especially a playwright of that stature. And he really um, gave, and I mentioned this in my Tony speech as well, he gave my career and continues to give my career um, what I've called an artistic spine. And I, 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 I know a lot of his plays. I've lived with a lot of his plays. Um, a lot of work that isn't his, I kind of read in comparison to it. There's something about how um, even if his characters are inarticulate, they attempt to be articulate. They use language a lot. They use language as, you know, as, as something very active. Um, they, and I think, I think I, I think I come from that tradition. Um, they, uh, they, they demand an emotional cost of an acting company. And as a director, I'm willing to go through that with an acting company. I think also Edward, um, has a lot of plays that hold a mirror up to society, hold a mirror up to an audience. Um, but he goes there, like he asks them to break open a little bit or reconsider how they're going through life. Um, he wants um, people to wake up and be very present tense. And he gets people to go, I think, to dark places, but always starting with laughter. He brings, I think, an audience in um, and characters in because his plays are inherently funny, even though they're also really harrowing. And I appreciate that. 